Paper was like gold in medieval times. Oh, not tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. All the way over here? All the way, keep going, keep going. This. This? this. Is, oh, look come, at this. Come be excited by what I have to this show This is you. wild. This is like 30 grand worth of stuff. Ever dream of buying and renting your own piece of paradise? Well, I'm doing just that with this outdated cottage. It's got great bones and a location that can't be beat. Stick with me, I'll show you how to spruce up a cottage classic and make money too. Our rental cottage reno is almost done and it's looking spectacular. We've transformed the main living area as well as the master bedroom, a great bunk room for the kids and a perfect deck for relaxing by the water. Often when you buy a cottage, Alrighty. you don't just get the cottage. Why is there so much stuff here? This is sold with content. Contents that my husband Alexander <sighs> loves. You've got an old log clock. I mean, look at that. Oh. We have to lose this. Tommy and I, not so much. Get it out of here. But even I've got to admit, we've hit the mother load here. Holy smokes. Hey, Sarah, you gotta check this out. I can't believe it. Look at this. I got everything in here. Bonanza. Look, oh, there's a windsurfer, life jackets, wetsuits. How many cottages come with this? Is this for chainsawing or arc welding? Uh, I think that's for painting, actually. <laughs> The price of the cottage rental just went up because of all the gear. I can't believe they walked out of here and left all that stuff. Awesome to have all this stuff. Mm -hmm. My question is, do we need all of this stuff? And this seems like pretty prime space. This isn't a shed. This is actually attached. This is underneath the master bedroom. There's so much room in here. You could probably put up a wall somewhere. In fact, there's even two sinks over here. You could put up a wall and then have a little bedroom. And then this could be all workshop back here. We get a plus one. Because yeah. then we would have three full bedrooms, which means that we would be able to sleep at least 10. Mm -hmm. If you're sleeping 10 people in a hotel, the price goes up. In your hotel. Even though it's located directly below the master bedroom, mm -hmm. to get to this guest room, you're going to need to go outside. But I think that that's part of its charm. So really, when we're done, it's going to feel like a cabin or a bunkie, yet it's still going to be part of the main house. All the way over here? All the way. Keep going. Keep going. Do I want to keep going? This deck looks a little precarious. OK, this. 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 Oh, look come, at this. Come be excited by what I have to this show This is you. like 30 grand worth of stuff. You name it, we got it. However, I want to turn this into a bedroom. That is smart. Do you hear the sound I hear? Yeah, that's the sound of money going in the pockets of those little white jeans. Cha-ching! But before we can build a guest room, we've got to clear out some of this stuff. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> We've destroyed it. the no The no craft is blown Sid, up. hurry up. <laughs> okay. Hurry up. Jeez. Faster. How about this ice bucket that's rather regal? Kind of nice. Eh? You think that's regal? Oh, well, you know, kind of a... We need to talk. Hey, what do you think? There isn't a person in the world who looks attractive with one of these on. Oh, darling. <laughs> Pink is so your color. You know what this makes me think? The one thing I haven't noticed anywhere here? Laundry. There's no laundry. What are we going to do about laundry? Well, we can't have it. No, you can't say we can't have laundry, because this is a rental, and who's going to do the sheets? I, I am not the laundry service. Where would we put the stuff? Could we put them down here? We'd have room in this room. Right here, we're well below the septic tank, so we need to have the machine up so that it can drain down into it. And to do that, you need to be on the main level. Could we build a little laundry house? Sure, we could probably build a little laundry house and have like maybe a beer fridge house right beside it. You can put whatever you want in my laundry house, but let's just make one thing clear. We cannot rent a cottage without laundry. First things first, let's get the guest room started. What I'd love to do is Put up a partition wall here and then clad it. Should we use tongue and groove? Is there something else? Should we use paneling? What do you think we should use? Uh, there's paneling or there's roughs on pine, uh, which is a one by 10. Right. And it's got the rough surface on one side. It's roughly the same cost as the tongue and groove pine. Per linear foot? Per linear foot. Yeah. But it's twice the size. 
So half the material costs. I like that. I think rough sawn would be nice down here. We can stain it, we can paint it, we can do something with it. But I like the idea of it feeling like this room can be a little bit more rustic For sure. feeling. Make sense? Makes sense. Cool. Let her rip. While Greg and Chris start framing out the partition wall, I'm figuring out the next steps in this project. Specifically, outdoor access. Come on and squeeze through here. The only thing is, I need to make sure that a canoe could still come through here. Yeah. So I want to make sure that we have as wide an opening as possible. And lots of glass. You want to keep all the glass? We want to keep the glass. Yeah. yeah. You can't possibly sleep closer to the water. This right. is awesome. Amazing. As you can see, we're moving pretty quickly here. Mm -hmm. How fast could we get this? I'll, I'll do my best. I'll get, okay. I'll get it like fast. Like quickly? Like, could we get it within a couple weeks? Sure, yeah. Sure. He says, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I say sure when I'm not really convinced. Can you do that? Sure. Sort of like, can you deliver some wood to an island? Yeah, sure. It's Friday and the sun is shining, which should mean it's an awesome day. But so far, it's not turning out that way. Our barge has finally arrived with the wood. Lumber's here, boys. It's one by 10, but it's not rough. It's dressed four sides. So it's a day late and you're telling me that instead of rough cut, we've got smooth four sides. Yes. So my question is, did I pay for rough cut or did I pay for dress four sides? Because if I paid for rough cut and got dress four sides, I'm OK. <laughs> yeah. But if I paid for dress four sides and ordered rough cut, I'm not OK. On an island, it's kind of tricky to take anything back to the store. So we're going ahead with the wrong lumber. Let's cut some stuff, guys. But we got it for the right price. A notch, we're going to install this diagonally in a chevron pattern on one wall. This decorative effect will create the look of a headboard. We set it down in the corner. Right. And we can have the meat halfway on Perfect. both sides. I think that'll be so nice. We'll have a sharp cut. It'll just come down both sides. Look very nautical. Sharp. And P.S. I'm loving that they sent us the wrong one. <laughs> it's very nice. The wood may be smooth, but the weather is getting rough. I woke up yesterday out Sarah's cottage and went to bed on the deadliest catch. It was the wrong show. What a great day for an indoor project. This is going to be a bedroom in no time. But where there's beds, there's also laundry. In order to add a washing machine, it has to drain into a septic system. So the idea here was having laundry in the house isn't feasible because there's no space. We thought, put it right here. We'll put the machine here. On the deck? Yeah, on the deck, in a box. And then you'll have a clothesline, which will go in this nice open area. So you have basically your washer and dryer in the same location. Like there's no clothes dryer? No, because we'll use the, the line dryer. Well, what happens when it rains? You don't put the stuff out when it rains. What if it rains for like a week? Oh, that would never happen around here. Will this deck support the weight of a washing machine? Oh, yeah. A washing machine, doesn't, a washing machine weighs way less than me. See? I don't want to. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is awesome. You like it? I love it. It looks great. I love this. So what happens here next? Like, you're just going to finish cladding all of these walls? Yes. OK. And we've got a sink without a toilet. It's like a day without sunshine. So that's totally perfect for here. It's perfect for here. As you can see, it's just another beautiful day in Georgian Bay. Hopefully this rain will let up soon, because we've got some exterior work that needs to get started. Keeping? Yeah, it's gone. I see that we've got the existing footings. Is that those we can use again? What I was hoping is we could go to the edge. OK, we can pin on that last chunk of bedrock. What do you mean, pin on that last we chunk? We have to drill a couple of chunks of rebar in. OK. And then we can pour another footing on top of it. OK. When you look at that and you find that rock, do you think, hey, hey, Great now spot. we're in business? Great, Great spot. spot. Yeah. See? I, I ordered that, especially okay. for you. That's just a little bit of Canadian shield for yeah. you. So then, am I limited by the footings, or can we go at all further forward? I'd say we could be able to come up right up that start of the railing there. I think that's perfect. I think okay. that's a nice enough deck. How long will this take? A couple hours. I love the way you talk. Okay. 
This is why Leo can build as fast as Leo can build. Look at that. I actually have a relatively large hand. It's hard to get gloves, because double XL doesn't come in the store too often. yellow boat sign clearly that we are on the right track okay. thinking about yellows speaking of the track we're in a wind tunnel do you feel like you want marigold yellow do you want an orangey yellow i prefer this yellow and this pattern and everything about that fabric speaks to me doesn't feel fancy feels casual no it's doesn't like feel a, out of place it's like a woodblock print or something it's really kind of cool do you like these o's they're definitely a little gold do you think it's too formal? It might be a bit, a bit fussy. So if that's too fussy, is a big scale check more in line with what we need? It's definitely more humble. I think for a guest room that started out as a storage room, humble is probably the way to go. <laughs> this whole yellow plan really started when we were clearing out the cupboards. This is really groovy. It's a nice color. Do you think it'll wash up okay? I don't know. I just think it's a super funky design. And I love the idea of having some yellow in here. And now we're seeing yellow everywhere. Look at these. Love those. Look at that with our fabrics. We can totally make that work. Wouldn't these be cute on a shelf on a bedside table so you can keep your personal items organized? Definitely. Okay. And there's a pair, which is always a good idea. Take two. Look over here. Yellows. This is the one, 100% this yeah, is the this. one. This is egg yolk. I think it's great. I think we're doing well. Could we do even better? What do we feel about this dresser? I like the fact that we wouldn't have to paint it. We could use it as is. I love the fact that we wouldn't have to paint it because I have a funny feeling that we might default to me and I'm feeling a little pressed for time. Okay. So right now I'm feeling like anything that is in a permanent state that works with our schemes, that's feeling like a home run. Everyone likes to hit a home run. Unfortunately, back at the cottage, we've got more of a strikeout. Are you out of gas? No way. Happily, Chris and Greg were on the case. They called for some gasoline. Although, I don't think Chris was helping that much. Everybody made it back safely, and now we're back to work. While Leo finishes the steps to the new deck, I have an idea that's both decorative and practical. How can I help you, my friend? We have to make a little notch design so that the whole, the head of the paddle yeah. will sit and be held on the wall. Okay. Handle, shaft, blade. Thank you. I think that's an otter tail. I know a little bit paddles. Stroke, 27 goes to 24. Good. Now we're gonna use the angle tool to make our guide track for what we're gonna cut. I stole this from one of the carpenters, the saw. So we have to do this quickly before they notice it's missing. That's nice. Okay, down, down on the left a little. Down on the left. Now up on the right. Now down on the left a bit. Now up on the right a bit. You know, I was doing all of that. Okay. Does it look level? It does. Great. It's going in. Now, if you're sleeping in this guest bedroom and you wake up in the morning and you look out the window to the lake and you see it's a beautiful day, you can just grab yourself a paddle, get the canoe, and go out for a little. You could. Or you could stay in bed. Either way, the paddles look good on the wall. We have one more decision to make about those new walls. Now that you see this room completed, yeah. do you think we should proceed with staining it? Or do we leave the pine natural? I have to be honest, I wouldn't stain them. I would leave them. Are you concerned that it'll go more yellow over time? Yeah, I guess, but then can't you just paint it later? Enjoy it while it lasts. I'm just saying, it's more paint, it's more work. We're rushing to our deadline to finish before the summer season's over. It's a very good point. I don't have the answer. Would you like to take the weekend and think about it? Decision made. My friend Tommy's not gonna be very happy, but I'm whitewashing the walls because I just don't want the pine to yellow over time. Oh. Lucas, you're making such a mess. I know rubbing it off with a rag after it's sat for, what is it, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Is the way that you're supposed to do it. But I find that when you do that, 
it rubs off too much and you don't get any effect. Any coverage. I prefer to just do this, one roll, one quick brush. I feel like it creates a good effect, right? That looks great. There's one challenge with this. You cannot do this on your own. I know. <laughs> you need to work with a friend. Yes. And Tommy disagrees with me, so I couldn't get him to do this with me. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. <laughs> Well, I also think you're a better painter than both of us put together. <laughs> While we're painting the walls, we'll also paint the floors in a pale green. And the appliance fairy just sent us a barge full of goodies. Oh, looky, what do we have here? A dryer. Now I have to convince Alex that I didn't order one. An accident. An accident, my dryer. <laughs> I guess they just assumed that a washer goes with a dryer. That magic dryer means we're going to need a bigger laundry box. And as that happens, Ken's team pulls up with a brand new door. Yep. The fact that I am sweeping means we are making progress here. I have a newly installed door and a window. This is the final stage. This is the end of the game for the transformation of a storage room into a really amazing little guest room. I'm just going to go and check it out. And once the furniture's in, you can take a look too. Every cottage needs storage, but if you have too much storage, it's just a waste of space. So I decided to take this big storage room and turn it into a guest room and look what we've ended up with. I would say that if this were high school graduation and somebody had to be voted most improved, it would definitely be the guest room. It's kind of like having a separate bunkie or a cabin removed from the rest of the cottage, only accessible by its own little deck, yet it's still connected to the cottage. The guest room also takes us from a two-bedroom cottage to a three-bedroom cottage, and let's face it, that adds a lot. We wanted this to work for a single family, but it would also be nice if it could work for two families sharing it. Now we have two bedrooms that can be used as principal bedrooms and we have a combined shared kids' bedroom. The transformation of the interior of this room was really pretty simple. A partition wall was added, and then we clad the walls and the ceiling, and we painted and we stained. I was gonna leave that room just natural wood to age, because I sort of thought that it had a nice glow to it and everything, but you can't tell that girl not to whitewash something. <laughs> Me, it is like a sickness. By adding a single layer of whitewash stain, we still get all the beauty of the wood coming through, but we also have a slightly brighter end result. The fun trick in this bedroom is the installation of the boards in a way that is just a little bit unusual. So by putting the chevron pattern as the headboard, we eliminated the need for a headboard and we upped the design factor. It doesn't make sense to offer a rental cottage and not allow people to do laundry. It is too much effort getting anything on and off this island, and it is too important to me to be able to have laundry. So guess what? I'm the lady of the house, and the lady wants laundry. So we got it. We had a deck. The deck was totally rotten. By rebuilding it, we've extended it across the front of the building, so it has a little bit more space. What's great is this deck is large enough that it is a little bit of a retreat for whoever gets to stay in that room at the end of the afternoon if you want a little quiet time, you want to watch the sun go down, or just escape from everybody else. It is another satellite location, and I think that is a big added benefit. Everybody knows a lot about Sarah Richardson already, that she's talented, that she's pretty, but they don't know if she's also crazy. Here to go for a snorkel uh, there, yeah, baby? Yeah, looking pretty hot. She came to me and said, Alex and I are thinking about doing another island project, oh, oh, no. and we have about a month. I really wanted to do this because working with Tommy and Sarah and the team, a ton of fun. I knew it was going to be a great experience. Perfect Tommy! <laughs> Everybody who was here every single day brought 150% energy, and it was a team effort, and that's what made it fun. As an investment, you really can't go wrong with something like this. We've got a great sound cottage in a beautiful part of the world. This cottage comes to life through the magic of paint and decorating. It was a lot of fun, and frankly, we ended up with a result that surpassed expectation. We think about this project as an adventure. It had its ups and downs, 
All of the downs were related to weather. However, the ups are what we achieved together as a team. And that is why we did it. And we enjoyed every minute of it. And he's already talking about doing it again. I would do this project again in a heartbeat. I need some sleep first. I can hardly imagine Alex and Sarah being landlords. The girl loves to vacuum. She loves to do laundry. She has everything pin perfect and ready for the renters. I can see her being housekeeping extraordinaire.